Before the Food for Thought funding came along, we didn't have any cooking materials in the school, so it wasn't being done within the school. Um, and we decided that this is something we would like to do and we're successful in our Food for Thought funding. With the funding, we purchased four cooking trolleys. Um, they've got cookers and ovens on them and they were all fully equipped with anything that you would need for a cooking lesson. Um, this has been rolled out without, within the school. Uh, every class teaches at least once a fortnight when things come up like Christmas fair, family fun days, anything like that, we always um, do a big push on cooking and every class contributes to something. In primary two, we decided to run a reading cafe. With all the work that's been going in, on in the school, we decided that every class again would contribute to the reading cafe. It was a place for primary two to come in and read with their parents and baking, tea, coffee, things like that were on offer and all of the baking was contributed from the classes. Every class took a turn and at some point over the five weeks that it ran, every single class baked for the reading cafe. We also used our Food for Thought funding to purchase equipment to transform our garden into an edible garden. Um, again, every class was involved. They have all, they've planted all sorts from potatoes to pumpkins to peas um, and the food that we've harvested has been used in class but it's also been used in our dinner hall as part of our school lunches. Um, and again this year everybody will be going out again to start planting um, and harvest and what we're going for is for children to, we're wanting children to know where their food comes from and how to cook it in a healthy manner as well. So the, the cooking activities and lessons have naturally embedded into different areas of the curriculum and now at all stages you can see the, the contextualised um, learning opportunities that the children have. Um, we are delighted that there's been much more involvement with family learning and this is a possible next stage for us where we'll be able to, to bring parents in and have parents cooking along with, it, with their children. Um, the excitement that this has generated has been superb and again I think that's down to the fact that we can have so many different opportunities in the school day for the children to be involved with the cooking and of course these are then things that the children, skills that the children are taking home and they can practice and reinforce with their parents and carers.